I'm Bart from High Water. Um, we're in Dalston in London. Um, today we're going to have a uh, last word. There's the classics that I'd like to show you. And the last word is like I get asked a lot of questions about what my favorite cocktail would be. And as much as I don't like answering this question because there are so many of those, so many wonderful drinks, I'd say last word is probably the drink that I had the most in my life, and it goes into hectoliters and or gallons if you prefer. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start with a little bit of lime juice. That's 25 milliliters of the lime juice, and um, the fresher, the better, of course. Uh, lime juice goes like off really, really quickly, and it can be even be a matter of hours. So. As, like ideally, I just squeezed it before we started, right? And then we've got the green chartreuse liquor. Uh, uh, basically, I think green chartreuse is quite extraordinary. That at one point in 1605, a monk thought, "Okay, hang on, let me put those 130 different herbs into the pot still or uh, into maceration, right?" And this is going to create something good. And um, yeah, this is the first pursuit of uh, elixir of life. So yeah, I'd say you know, I'm still alive. I'm still I'm still standing. Uh, it's good. It works. And then the uh, Luxardo Maraschino. Again, 25 ml. It's a very straightforward recipe. It's all equal parts. And uh, then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of beef eater gin. Uh, it needs to be quite a bold gin to stand out really, really nicely. Uh, so again, 25 milliliters. And there we go. Get all our ingredients uh, just to make sure that everything's okay. Always try your cocktails before serving. Uh, I'm gonna put some ice and uh, let's shake it to wake it. Just get the glass, I'll be right back. Here we are, nice frozen glass. And just double strain it. Here we go, no garnish needed for that. Uh, it's a drink that's very good on its own. And um, yeah, here's the last word. Enjoy. Mm.